Hey guys, this is Raze here. I'm bringing you a, another video today, but uh, un unlike my other videos, this is going to be the pilot video of a new series, okay? And I bet you're wondering, well, I mean, he's already doing the HUD tutorial videos, so like, how, how, what, what could he possibly know how to do? I mean, this guy only knows so much stuff. Well, um, this is HUD related. It is, it is, uh, very in fact HUD related. But instead of modifying a HUD that's already in existence to your liking, how about you just make HUD from scratch? That'd be easier, right? You can get it exactly how you want it to do. And so that's what these, these, uh, this video series is going to be over. It's going to be a series of, of uh, HUD tutorials, building HUD from scratch. You know, starting at block one, and um, as the videos progress and the and the uh, the episodes or I guess the tutorials add up, then uh, we will reach more and more towards uh, a, a finished product. So uh, basically, I'm going to kind of explain what I'm doing uh, whenever I'm, I'm doing this tutorial, but it's not going to be so much a, uh, okay, I want to change my ammo size, how do I do that type of deal. It's going to be, okay, you know, we're going to pick our font uh, for the ammo, and we're going to install that font, and then we're going to put it on the ammo, and then, oh, that's too big, we'll change the font. So basically, I'm just going to make out how to from scratch, right in front of your eyes. I'm going to explain my process. Hopefully, you guys will be able to follow along. And as kind of a nifty deal, uh, I think after every video series, or not every video series, every every tutorial that I do, um, I'm going to save the HUD in its current state after that video, and I'll go ahead and throw it on my Dropbox, and uh, I'll put the link in the video description. So, like, for instance, let's say uh, you want to start all the way from scratch, but maybe you're having problems with something, and you want to see how I, how I did it, like how I, I typed it, or, or um, you know, maybe you just liked the styling of something that I did and you want to take it for your own, then uh, I'll, I'll put a zip with all of the HUD files at that current point in time after that tutorial in the description. And you'll be able to download it and you can use it as the base for your own HUD. Uh, you can use it to, as reference, like I said, or, you know, just whatever. It, it'll be good. But uh, anyways, today's, uh, today's video isn't going to really cover too much. It's just going to kind of uh, go through the setup process so I can help you guys out with the... Uh, uh, preparing for this whole editing process because, uh, believe me, it can get kind of tricky. And so, uh, even though you guys might not feel like this this setup video is necessary, um, I I honestly feel like if we do all the setup now, it'll be easier in the long run. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and move on to the setup. So, in addition to having Team Fortress 2 installed, there's going to be uh, two more things that you're going to need to get. Maybe more on down the road, but we'll cover those once we run across that, uh, when we get across that path. So, what you're going to need right now is you're going to need uh, a program called GCFscape and another program called Notepad++. GCFscape is the program you're going to use to get the base HUD files um, out of their their uh, file format that they're currently stored in and in a workable, usable thing for you. And uh, Notepad++ is going to be our editor of choice. Uh, granted, you can use Notepad and you can use WordPad and if you have something else you can use all that, that's fine. But I'm most familiar with Notepad++ and uh, I feel like it does a good job for what I use it for. So I think uh, it'll do a good job for what you guys are trying to do as well. So I, I've, gone, I've gone ahead and opened up the, uh, the, the links to both of those things in this Firefox window here. Here we've got uh, uh, GCFscape, and here we have Notepad++. But again, if you uh, want to get the links to these or you don't already have them, I will go ahead and put a link to them in the description. So all you have to do will have to click on those links and download them. Um, but yeah, if you want to get to GCFscape, uh, literally all I did was, you, you see I, I here I left the Notepad++ Google, and if you just Google those two things, like the first result of each of them will be what you're looking for. Um, so you're going to want to download and install GCFscape, and um, download and install Notepad++, and once you have both of those things installed and on your system, you're, you're heading in the right direction to becoming a HUD master, so good work. Um, as for this, the rest of this video, though, I, I don't think I'm going to uh, dig right in and get started just yet. But uh, I'm going to try to release these videos, I think, every Tuesday and Thursday, um, uh, I guess, uh, my time permitting. So every Tuesday and Thursday, you can look out for a new tutorial video. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short. This is going to be a really short one because, like I said, this is kind of the intro, kind of the FAQ. Um, but... I'm excited. I think this is going to be a lot of fun for uh, both you guys and me, and we're, we're all going to learn a lot. It'll be a good thing, and uh, collectively, we'll be able to uh, all obtain more knowledge, which is, at the end of the day, what you really should strive for. No, I'm sorry. That was really, that was really corny. You can just ignore like the last... I, I don't even know how many sentences I just said. None of that's important. 
Oh, and one more thing before I cut off here. Um, in, in order to find the videos on my channel, I'm going to put the tag uh, HFS in, in brackets at the beginning of every video title, and that just means HUD from scratch. And so um, by putting that, that prefix at the beginning, it'll make it really easy for you guys to pick out you know, the videos that are specific to this tutorial. I'll also go ahead and throw them on a playlist, but, but that's cool. Um, but uh, yeah, it should be fun. And if you guys have any questions about how this whole thing's going to go or, or uh, anything like that, you, you want any more information about how this whole uh, interactive tutorial series is going to go, um, leave a uh, comment in, in, the, uh, in the comment place down below the video here, and uh, I'll, I'll see what I can do about replying to it. I, I'm not the greatest at replying to comments because uh, I, sometimes they slip through, but I'll do what I can. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I look forward to this uh, this this tutorial series. It'll be fun.